What's going on everyone? So today I am stuck at home, working from home. Just some quarantine things, looking outside, you know. I forgot what it's like to be out here. But um, I found, I didn't find something, but I thought of something that could help make the little situation of being stuck at home a little better. And that is this guy right here. I got me a little mini basketball goal for my apartment. So now whenever I feel like moving around, jumping around a little bit, getting some heartbeat pumping, you know, I'll just come over here, shoot a few shots in, jump around. It's kind of high up compared to me. So, you know, I can actually try and dunk and stuff like that. Have to actually jump to reach it. So that's one benefit for me having this goal. And so today I'm just going to give you a little review about it. I guess this is the name right here, goal eighth or something like that. You know, you got the, the whole caution thing going on. Don't hang on the rim. And uh, if you see the way I got it hooked up onto the wall, these little sticky, little double-sided sticky foamy things. I even got some, you can't, you kind of see it on the bottom as well. And at the very top, I can't really reach it, but uh, there's some up there as well. And so, you know, typically you see those goals hanging off the door rim or the top of the door. But with my apartment, there's really no spot where I could hang it on the door to be able to shoot like right here. I got this guy that kind of doesn't leave a gap at all for the door. So I can't even play it here. And this would be like my best spot to put it if I was gonna put it at a door. Uh, I mean, I didn't even think about this door, honestly, but uh, who wants a, a basketball goal hanging right here, you know, at the front door. But honestly, this game looks pretty good. For it. Man, I might change it up. I don't know yet, but I got it stuck up there right now, which is a good spot. Cause if you look at it from way over here, like look how much room I got to arc it. Like the, the ceiling inclines going towards the goal. So there's a little bit more room for a curve of the ball. The only thing is the fan kind of gets in the way every now and then. So it's like another obstacle you gotta, you gotta try and beat when trying to shoot as if it wasn't hard enough already. But yeah, basically when I was looking for a goal, I wanted one where I knew that I could unscrew or unclamp whatever piece that would uh, hang on to the door so that I could have it nice and flat on the wall. This was my vision the whole time to have it on this specific wall, just cause like I said, there's so much more room for me to play around with if I had it on here versus anywhere else. I guess the only other place would be the front door, like I said, but even then, like, I don't know, I don't want it there. It's too low versus how much higher this is. So like, I can't even dunk or nothing like that over here. You know, it's like, if it's right here, I could reach the top right there without even jumping. And I wanted a lot of movement and get my heart going. So it's way up there. Anyways, what it came with, I don't have the box anymore, but uh, here's the clamps I was talking about that go onto the door. I got the screws there just in case I ever change it up and put it on the door so I can always screw it back in. And then these go onto the door. It's got the little foamy pads here so you won't damage your door. This is a ball it came with, a little plasticky rubbery ball. I don't know who's gonna play with that because if it's inside, you know, you got parents, they're not gonna want you breaking stuff in the house. So I don't even pump it up. Not only cause I don't have a pump and it didn't come with a pump, but because I don't wanna break stuff in my place either. I got this little foam ball. What is that? Poof, it's foamy, it's perfect. If I try and shoot it, I don't miss. And it goes in perfectly, you know. Um, yeah, so I just unscrewed it and then it was nice and flat on the wall. It also has a little bit of foaminess on the back as well. So it comes with a little bit of foam. So it's not that bad of a deal. But uh, yeah, that's my little review of this goal. It was $20. I got it from Dick's Sporting Goods. Uh, they don't let you inside right now, so... I ordered it online and they brought it out to my car whenever I pulled up. I think it's $20 well spent. The goal, I mean, it looks fancy. If you look at the rim, it even has that little springy thing on the bottom. Like that whole rim piece is metal. 
the backboard is plastic i'm pretty sure i can't remember but uh yeah you know i can't hang on this rim because it'll just come on down but uh you know i could touch it just can't put too much pressure on it and i added a few more of the little sticky things all around and honestly i don't know how it's staying up there right now because it is it's heavier than it looks like i'd say it's at least two or three pounds total weight if not more and so i didn't think my little foamy pads would work on the wall i thought it'd just fall off after a couple of days but it's been up there for about two or three weeks now and i've had no problems so if you got room for a little basketball goal you got twenty dollars i mean there's so many options where you could put it you know that little foamy ball i think it was like a dollar maybe two dollars i don't even know i got that a while back but i still had it so i, I knew it would work out but uh yeah you know if anyone wants to play there's room over here for some one-on-one -on -one. uh just let me know and we can try and set something up but for now i'll leave the links in the description below if you got any questions about the goal what i do to make it fun what i play with anything man i'm bored uh go ahead leave it in the comments below and i will see you guys in the next video